my loves welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video as you can tell by the title it's going to be a full face makeup tutorial on this look i created right here i did use the huda beauty python palette from her wild obsessions collection i do have all four of the palettes in that collection you guys if you tune into my last video then you would know that i definitely suggested that you guys comment down below on that video just in case a palette really piques your interest and you want to see a look with that first so i'm definitely open to any recommendations or suggestions i definitely wanted this palette to be the first one that I do after that video because we are going into springtime or we are in springtime yeah I think it is yeah it's spring <laughs> so yeah I just figured that this palette would honestly be perfect to you if you guys did not tune into my last video this is what the palette looks like on the outside and this is what it looks like on the inside I definitely wanted to use this palette for a spring look because this is a perfect palette that I feel like you can just easily go into a little bit of color but also you have your neutral tones as well that can tone down a little and make it just a little bit more wearable. But yeah, you guys, I do have a couple of thoughts on this palette. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look and my thoughts on this palette, then just continue to watch. Also, just to throw it out there, you guys, um, being that this palette is from Huda Beauty, I might as well just go ahead and mention that she is currently having a sale. I will put the sale information up here for you guys just in case you did not tune into my last video because I definitely stated it over there but if you didn't see that video then yeah you guys she is having a sale right now so I would definitely take advantage of the opportunity y'all know that Huda Beauty is not cheap okay she is definitely not cheap so if I were you guys I would definitely take advantage and go ahead and pick up some things that you've been eyeing while it's on sale I believe that the sale last this entire month i'm not sure don't quote me on that but i'll actually put the correct information if i can find it like on the screen but yeah you guys so i really hope you all enjoyed today's video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one all right so as always you guys i'm going to be going into my p louise rumor base in the shade 2.5 this is my favorite base and the only base that i pretty much use other than a juvia's place one um, this is the base that I love to go in the most. So yeah, I'm just going to be taking a thin layer and I'm going to be blending that out. I love this brush to do this. This is the Q, I want to say, what is this? QS, QS something. I don't know y'all, but it's a brush set from Amazon. A lot of the brushes that I use are from Amazon and it comes in sets. So yeah. Now I'm just going to be going into the Python palette and taking that first shade, which is that brown. And I'm going to be placing that in my crease. Now, something that I definitely noticed about Huda Beauty's brown shades, at least in her non-pan palettes, they do appear a little bit darker than what they appear in the palette. Like, I honestly thought that this was going to be like a chocolate brown. And this is like a deep, dark chocolate brown. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just something to keep in mind when you're using these palettes. And I needed something just a little bit more warm and another transition shade in between the last shade that I'm going to use, which is in the Python palette. So yeah, I definitely needed an in-between shade. So I figured why not use this palette? Um, the shade that I use is a cream to powder form, which I don't really care too much for the cream to powder formulas, to be honest, but this one was pretty nice. But yeah, I just used that. And this time, you guys, is something that I don't normally do, but this time after I went in with the next shade, I went back to the previous shade to just intensify it. So I was just pretty much applying the color and then going back and blending it as I go. Usually I don't do this until like the second to last step, but yeah, I just decided to do something different today. <laughs> so yeah, um, for some odd reason, you guys, I don't have the clip of me showing you the transition shade that I use, but it's literally the shade right next to the brown shade in the Python palette. That's the one that I had used for my last shade for the crease area. So yeah, I was just applying that, making sure that it was nice and diffused. now I'm taking these two shades you guys I'm going to be doing an ombre lid so I'm going to be taking the lime green first which I was not too impressed by this lime green I definitely feel like it could have been just a little bit more pigmented I had to go back in a lot of times to get that opaqueness and it was slightly patchy as well 
but I still made it work. Um, it's just, you know, coming from Huda Beauty, I just expected more from the, um, the shade as far as the color payoff. But at the same time, I did state in my last video that her nine pan eyeshadow palettes are a little less um, good of quality than her 18 pan ones, which is totally fine. Like I said, I still made it work. So yeah, I just went in with this shade first and then I did my best to <laughs> blend this shade in with the um, turquoise blue shade. Definitely has not been like my best blend, but um yeah, you guys, I honestly just feel like these two eyeshadows were just two totally different textures. Like, the blue was so pigmented, so smooth, blended really nicely. And then the lime green one was just pretty much, like, the opposite. So, yeah, um, I definitely could have took more time to blend it. But at the same time, it was just, like, it wasn't doing it. And after a while, I just gave up. <laughs> so, yeah, I just went ahead and tried to overlap it as much as I could. And, yeah. I went ahead and did my white liner off of camera and then I went into my cosmetic paint by P. Louise in the shade Barbu. I want to say that's how you say it. So yeah, I just pretty much lined my lash line with that and then the same first shade of brown that we use in the crease, we're going to use that to set that cosmetic paint. Now these do dry down to a matte finish so you don't necessarily need to set these. However, it's just still good to do so. So yeah, I just went ahead and went in with that eyeshadow and set that liner. So now we can move on to the face portion. So I'm going in with one of my favorite primers. This is the KVD Lock It Primer. This is the pore refining primer and it definitely does blur the skin and fill in your pores. So that way you can get a smooth application for your makeup. So yeah, I'm going into my KVD Lock It uh, foundation. And yeah, I'm just applying that all over my face. And of course I'm using a fluffy brush not a fluffy brush, but like a big dense brush um, because that honestly gives you more coverage when you use a brush that looks like that. So yeah, I'm just applying that all over my face and blending it out with that brush. So usually you guys, when I go in with my concealer, I do go in with one closer to my skin tone and then a way lighter one for brightening. But I decided to just mix these two concealers because I was using a, a really bright powder, which you guys will see in a second. Um, so yeah, I just figured it wasn't necessary. And once I had set my under eyes, it gave me such a beautiful, nice brightening effect that I feel like I didn't even need to go in with a brighter concealer by itself. So yeah, I just went ahead and did this technique. And it worked out pretty good, you guys. I cannot wait for y'all to see the powder. Um, I had used the shade Cupcake by Huda Beauty. This is her Easy Bake Loose Powder. It was really nice, you guys. So, yeah, y'all see that in a second.
So like I said, you guys, I went in with this powder and I absolutely love how it gave me such a beautiful, nice brightening effect. It literally smoothed my skin. It melted in my skin. Like I love Huda Beauty's powder so freaking much. And if you guys are interested in seeing how this is uh, in comparison to the fragrance free powder, then just please stay tuned. Go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notification bell because I am posting that video next, you guys. I literally have the powder and the perfume right next to me. So yeah, that video is definitely coming. So yeah, um, I just went in with that powder on all the highlighted areas. And usually, you guys, I always go in with my Easy Baking Snatch Press Powder just to give an extra brightening effect and give it just a tad bit of luminosity. However, I just loved so much how my under eye look with just this powder that I forgot to even do that step. So I did it towards the end. You guys will see like once I did my hair and everything towards the end of the video, you guys are going to see me apply that powder because I remembered all of a sudden. So yeah, you guys, that just goes to show that this powder is so beautiful and it does exactly what I want it to do. So now I'm just taking my Juvia's Place bronzer. Sorry I didn't show you guys what the shades look like, but I just mixed the two together. And I'm just applying that on um, pretty much everywhere that I did not highlight. So my jawline, I'm doing the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, everything like that. So now I'm just taking those two shades and I am diffusing that on my lash line with a very small detail brush. I'm going in with that brown first and then I'm diffusing it out just a tad bit with that neutral shade, the transition shade that I told you guys that I did not show, um, which is my fault. But yeah, that's the one that I had took. That's the one I was talking about earlier. So yeah, now I'm going to uh, apply my bottom mascara and... Um, yeah, after that, I'm just going to go straight into my liner. So this is a beautiful shade from P. Louise. This is in the shade Sexy Chili, and it's this beautiful bright blue color. But I just wanted it to pop just a tad bit more, so I mix it with another cosmetic paint that's like dang near white so yeah i just mixed those two just to have that blue pop a little bit more and i'm taking a very 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 small detail brush that i got from amazon this is like a um it's a liner brush pretty much but it's very small and it can honestly help me so much when um it's time to do like real precise uh eye work so yeah I'm taking that beautiful green shimmer shade and I'm putting that in my inner corner just to make the eyes pop just a little bit more and just to add some shimmer to this look. And I am adding some rhinestones to my um, outer corner. Um, obviously, you can see I already added the ones to the uh, crease area, so I'm just adding three to the outer corner. All I do is just take three dots of lash glue and then I take this nail tool and I pick up the rhinestone and I just apply it to my face and they stay the entire time. So now what we're going to do is go into the lip products. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Simmer Brown Now Pencil and I'm just lining my lips. I like to go in with this one first when I'm doing a brown nude lip because I like my um, lip line to be just a tad bit deeper and then it fades into a more chocolate brown. That's why I'm going in with the Lip Contour by Huda Beauty in the shade Rich Brown just to give it a nice... Um, gradient effect on the lips and just pull more chocolate instead of that cool tone brown that we first applied so now i'm taking my liquid lipstick in the shade moonlight from la colors and i'm just going to be applying that i know it looks really really crazy y'all but it'll all come together so yeah i'm just applying that rubbing it in and just making sure it dries down and um, i did set it with some powder off of camera going back into that uh pencil and just making sure everything is nice and blended and then i'm going to go into my faux filler lip gloss in the shade coco i literally love this lip gloss so much you guys i don't know what it is but it just makes my lips pop and look so juicy y'all will see at the end of the video but yeah
Okay, you guys, so now I'm going to be taking my uh, cupcake shade. I don't know why it, like, cut out and you can't see the name on the screen. But, yeah, this is the shade Cupcake. This is the powder that I was telling you guys about earlier. This is by Huda Beauty. I love this powder so much, you guys. But as you can see, I already had such a beautiful, nice, bright under eye. But I just needed to be a little extra because that's just me. And it honestly just set the whole look together like it always does. I literally love it so much. And I just started putting this on my forehead, you guys. And I love the way that it looks. I just love this powder so much. Well, when I recorded this video, I did not have a blush by Huda Beauty. Now I do. But yeah, for this video, I did not have a blush. So I just mixed those two shades to create my own blush. So yeah. This is literally the finished look, you guys. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video and you learned something new. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.